All right, so this is how we solve radiometric dating problems. I'm going to do the column on the left, and then I'm going to leave you guys the column on the right. That way um, you can check and see if you're understanding how to do that. And then bring this right-hand column into your instructors, and they'll let you know if you did them right if you need to. All right, so always you'll be given um, some part of the problem. So this one is the radioactive isotope Ellerzium decays into caffeum with a half-life of 32 days. For each of these problems, we're going to determine the age. So remember, we're not just trying to solve for the half-life, we're solving for the age itself. Um, so the first step is to find the number of half-lives. In this one, a sample has three quarters of, of the caffeum, so that's the daughter element. Remember, it's always listed as parent and daughter. And so here, this is the daughter element, and this is the parent. So we're dealing with fractions, so I'm just going to make my t-chart. We start off with 1 over 1 of parent and 0 daughter. Okay, So that always goes above that t-chart line. After one half-life, we have half parent, half daughter. Doesn't match. Two half-lives. Half of a half is a fourth. All those other M&Ms go over here and three-fourths. That's what we're looking for is right there, so I know it was two half-lives. The second step, after I know my number of half-lives, is to multiply. So two half-lives times by the amount of time of the half-life. This one's 32 days equals 64 days. And that's my final answer. On a lab practical, if you have not shown all those steps and you just have an answer and it's wrong, you'll lose all points. If you show all your steps and you have a wrong answer, you can still get partial credit based on whether it was an error on determining the half-lives or whether it was an error on looking at uh, math. Uh, so make sure that you've shown your work. So that's a fraction problem. Um, other ones that you might get are percentage problems. I'm going to zoom in here a little wee bit. Okay, so percentage problems are solved much the same way. Um, that's just a different way to uh, to show a fraction. So here, again, start the same way. I'm going to determine my number of half-lives. But now I start off with 100% parent and 0% daughter. So after one half-life, I have 50% and 50%. That's for one half-life. After the second half-life, half of 50 is 25. And then I just move all those M&Ms over to the I can eat it pile. After three half-lives, I have half of 25 is 12 and a half. Ooh, look, I can stop now. I don't even have to figure out. The thing is, is on the lab practical, it might say daughter, it might say parent. Um, so you have to pay attention to whether it's talking about parent or daughter. It, that's one of the tricky pieces of these kinds of problems, is make sure you're paying attention to parent or daughter. So three half-lives times by the, num the length of a half-life, which we know is already 32 days, equals 96 days. And again, that's my final answer. The final kind of problem is a ratio. Those are the hardest. Um, and that's just because, and the only reason why they're hard is they have an extra step. So we've always been comparing on these other problems. We've been comparing parts to whole. And when uh, this kind of problem is going, it's comparing part to part, parent to daughter. So we have to figure out what the whole is. So 125 in this case, parent plus 375 daughter equals 500 atoms total, or 500, uh, 500 pieces. Keep it out of focus here. There we go. So now I can determine parent out of daughter, and I can either do that um, as parent over whole or daughter over whole. Either way works. 
Um, I'm then going to convert that to either a fraction or a percent. Um, I like doing percentages. So I'm going to take 125 divided by 500. That gives me 0.25 or 25%. Um, either way works whether you do fractions or percentages. 25%, if I plug that into my t-chart, works the same every time. 50, 25, that's two half-lives. Two half-lives times 32 days is 64 days. Now the ones on this right-hand column are a wee bit more difficult just because we didn't do um, two or three uh, half-lives. Uh, we did a little bit more. So on this right-hand column, again, if you do those as practice problems, make sure that you come in to get help. The only kind of problem not represented here is a grams or a um, uh, mask type problem. Um, so what we might say is four, it starts off with four grams and um, how, how many half-lives or how long does it take to get to another mass like 0.5 grams. Um, they all work the same, have the same process. Um, you just have to think about it from a different perspective. All right.